Aloha, dudes. Good morning. Abby is so sweet. She's making pancakes right now. She also just woke up, but she's freaking on it. I woke up hungry. Oh, yeah. Got lots to do today. We are super excited today because Amazon is going to send us on a virtual experience to Italy. Yeah. We're going to Italy, babe. We're going to Italy. Virtually. You guys, we're gonna learn how to make homemade gnocchi like your sweet Italian grandma. Oh, yes. <laughs> In this past year, we had a trip planned to Italy, but it ended up getting canceled. And with international travel being shut down right now, it's so nice we get to travel virtually and learn how to make one of our favorite pastas, gnocchi, because Abby makes really good gnocchi soup, you guys. Yeah, but I just buy store-bought gnocchi, so yep. I'm really excited. I'm not Italian, Matt's not Italian, we don't know how to do this, so. We get to get our butts moving. You get to travel, but you don't have to pass. It's chow time. Mm. My pancakes. Oh, these look so good. Pineapple, honey, my other honey. Ding. Wow, these are the best ones yet. So we just finished breakfast, had a little bit of me time. Now I'm going to be headed to the grocery store for to pick up a couple things that we need today. Okay, bye babe. I love you. Bye, I love you. It's an hour long journey. I love driving because it's just like so peaceful for me. I'm literally still in my jammies. The grocery store is not a fashion show. Anyway, gonna head to the store. See you when you get there. Shh. Slight change of plans. Found a grocery store closer and I was like, maybe I'll just pull off here, see if they have what we need. Pulled off and I locked my keys in my car, but I got the groceries I and needed. that's why I ran <laughs> up here in the rain and rescued her. I was soaking. Got the groceries right here. Can you drop me off at home, please? I made it back home. I clearly was not awake this morning. Good thing my knight in shining armor came to my rescue. He sprinted in the rain. Okay, so now I gotta carry these groceries inside. Now I'm going to get ready for the day. I just moisturized and now it's time to do my makeup. Three, two, one. Yay, I'm all ready. I'm gonna wear this dress. Doesn't that just look Italian? This is perfect. This is the best day ever. I'm dressed, ready to go. It's a little wrinkly, but eh. It's all right. Our ingredients are all ready to go for our Amazon experience. I am so excited. So I peeled the potatoes. They are boiling over there. I mean, this isn't the most interesting or entertaining thing, but this is what we do in our life. And I think it's kind of important that people that are on social media at least sometimes share the more normal, like daily aspects of their lives. So I'm gonna do that today, I don't know. Cause I feel like it can be kind of toxic if you don't realize that I do uninteresting, normal things all the time, such as strip my bed and throw the sheets in the washing machine. That's what I'm about to do, so hope you enjoy. For those of you that don't know this, our washing machine is outside. Just throwing the detergent in there, back inside. Now I'm gonna get that ready for our experience. Time to get organized. Matt walked out and said, how do I look? This man <laughs> really is matching me. I wanted to match your beautiful yellow dress, sweetie. This is so precious, you guys. Okay, so we're getting it all set up. Getting our Amazon Explorer experience. Pulled up on our computer. We're getting our ingredients together. This is so fun for like a date with your kids by yourself. I mean like- With you're... your girlfriends or your boyfriends. I mean, this would just be such a fun thing to do. Honestly, I love this. We have so many I things. Mean... Cooking classes, explore like places like the beer gardens and mm -hmm. churches of Munich, wildlife up close in Costa Rica, sushi making one in Tokyo. Abby loves stuff like this. And when I see her super excited and happy, it makes me happy too. I'm gonna pull the last few things together and then we'll see you then. This is so cool. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This yeah. is Matt and Matt I'm Abby. And Abby. Welcome to my kitchen here in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Tell me, where are you? We're in Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh my God. Yeah. Why did you choose this experience? We love gnocchi, but we always buy it from the store. And yeah. we want to figure out how to make it. This is your first time cooking gnocchi. First yes. time. We can say that here in Argentina, we are half human, half gnocchi. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to learn how to cook. You can cook your best gnocchis ever. We're going to start first with the onion. Recipe is for two servings slash three. There we are. First we add the onions and we're going to cook it. So she cooks her gnocchi and then she starts adding her favorite vegetables. Three, the climate change and also the next. So we're going to add one. 
Okay, I'm adding my last potato to the bowl. Ooh. We're ready. Let's go. Smash the potato. It should be a little easier if we had a potato mash. Great. Mix your um, cheese with the potatoes. Don't tell my grandma that I told you that. That's the classical recipe. So let's start adding the flour little by little. And mix everything with your hands. Can you see? Ooh. Yep. And we start kneading it. From Buenos Aires to Hawaii. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Update, Abby has now made the dough for the gnocchi. This would not be possible. Without the help of Stella. Yeah, thank you so much for helping us. But we're having so much fun. We're going to cut our dough in half. Cutting it in half. And roll it till you make a snake. Good. And once you have your snake in front of you, we're going to kill our snake. Oh, oh no. no. Roll those little pieces, our gnocchi there, with the thumb, we press it and let it roll. You can add salt there into the hot water. Okay. So the Italians, they had to move away, mostly to Argentina. 70% of the Argentinians have an Italian background. There is a picture. Wow. wow. All of them were in suits. At the end of the month, you don't have money. That's why the ingredients chosen were um, potatoes and flour. And that's the reason why we eat gnocchi at the end of the month. Wow. That's a tradition that is still alive. That's cool. very cool. I never knew that. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. What do you think about the experience? Did you like it? Oh, so yes. Fun. This is so fun. I want to make these a lot now. That was really fun. Ta da! Wow. Beautiful. They are raw. They will last more or less two months. Okay, guys, Abby just finished up the gnocchi. It looks delicious. She did such a great job. And we wanted to thank Stella for all thank her you, help. Stella. Thank you, Stella. You've been so kind and so helpful. We can't wait to keep making this. Thank you very much for being here with me today. Thank you for choosing Bamba Travel and for joining me. And you will be right directed to a page where you can find all the pictures that you have taken and also the recipe step by step. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. You guys, look me in the eyes right now. I truly want to do all of these. If you want to get someone a gift too, like this would be so fun if someone was like, hey, is a good I'm going to teach you how to make gnocchi from an Italian person. Stella, our, our teacher today, was actually from Buenos Aires. And I didn't even realize this, but Buenos Aires, Argentina has a very strong Italian influence. It's like a huge Italian population there because it's like an Italian experience, right? But it's coming from Buenos Aires. And that was some history I didn't even know that so many people from Italy moved to Buenos Aires. She was so precious. Honestly, yeah. learned so much. So this would yes. be fun for kids because they can learn a lot too, but like adults can learn a ton from this. Yeah. I'm a college educated woman and I learned so much. Can yeah, we try th it? Thank you, Stella. Thank you so much. You I'm actually surprised checked her it out. turned out. Like, wow, I that. made this. It's the first by Abby literally just single handedly made this. I just recorded. What do we think, babe? Is it really good? <laughs> Let me try it. So hungry. Oh, oh. It's so hot. Mm. Isn't it mm -hmm. good? I love it. Thanks for making this, babe. You did such a good job. Cue time lapse. Psh I'm witnessing something like a shooting star. A unicorn. What's happening? It's my husband doing the dishes. Oh, hey. You guys, I swear I never did see a sight so beautiful. Okay, I appreciate it, babe. Thank you. Now we're gonna head to the beach. We're gonna go surf. So I'm gonna go change my swim trunks and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's get this show on the road, people. We just arrived at the beach. Yeah, I don't want to get our stuff stolen, especially our camera. I'll take the GoPro out so you guys can see our sick footage of us getting pumped. <laughs> I'm actually nervous tonight. You got it. I'm mostly oh. nervous about being cold. You'll be you'll be okay. Uh, uh, You're gonna do great. You're gonna do great. It's gonna be so much fun. Let's go surf. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? It's so cold. Let's freaking get it. Love you. Hey, woo! -hoo! You made it out. Found it. It is so pretty. So pretty right here. It's good. Let's get it. Woo! 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 Yo, dude! Let me see. 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 Let
fishing. Okay, let's head in, okay? You got stung? I don't know. Are you looking at crazy? Let's head in. No. Let's head in. If it stinks, you might have gotten stung by something. I'm fine. It's mild, but it scared me really bad. What the freak just happened, dude? I got stung by a jellyfish. I literally cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> I was in the water nice and mad. I was like, I'm stinging. Ouch! <laughs> Something hurts my leg. I think it's a jellyfish, but if, if I got stung by a jellyfish, I think that's what it feel like. <laughs> you got freaking stung, babe, and you are a trooper. Give me some freaking high fives. <laughs> really You're tough. so tough. I asked Abby, I was like, do you want to keep surfing or go back? And she's like, ah, I don't really know. I kind of want to keep surfing, but you can decide, babe. I'm like, babe, we should probably go. Like, you got stung by a jellyfish. Let's I'm see it. You can't really see uh, much. That, can you that's see That's what it? it is right there. Oh, yeah, there oh, it is. Yeah. That does look like a rug burn. And you said it feels like a rug burn? Well, it kind of feels like a rug burn and bee stings. I think you'd be surprised. Okay. I mean, it hurts. It's like a, it doesn't stop hurting. That's what's weird is it, it gets increasingly more painful. Abby, you're so freaking tough. I know, babe. Oh! We need to figure out how we're going to treat Abby's jellyfish stings. We got to get out of here. We don't have any service, right, babe? No service. No, oh, there's another sting right there, too. That's you got why. Stung twice? That's why. I, no, dude, I have three or a you multiple look? right here, and then there's uh. one down here. So I did some research on my phone. Basically says to use heat, whether that's hot shower, I'm sure like a hot pad or something. They also say to use vinegar. And contrary to popular belief, urinating on <laughs> somebody's jellyfish sting is not proven to be effective. Oh dang it, I was hoping I could do that. I would you want to do that? <laughs> not really in that much pain. It's just it just stings. We basically we made the right decision because it does say that staying in salt water is not good for it. Anyway, I'm gonna take a shower and see how it feels, so we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the sting survivor herself, Abby <laughs> Howard. Give it up. Yay! Give me a high five. Abby just told me it could have been poisonous. It's not poisonous, but Bay does have poisonous jellyfish. Holy freak. It's fine. It literally feels yeah. fine right now. So if Abby would have been in danger from what we read online, she'd be in a lot more pain and then Well, I would have gone into anaphylactic shock. Right what now. is anaphylactic shock? You can't breathe. Okay, that's really freaking scary. <laughs> you guys can see how it's really red. Yeah, if it takes in more than half your arm or leg, then you need to call 911. It doesn't sting anymore. I'm just so glad we got out of the water because we read online too that the salt water makes it so much worse. Hey, we're doing salad tonight. Woohoo! Give me my chicken. So hungry. Chicken right here. So we're gonna have a little date night. It is a date. We look very fancy for a date. And we have our back salad with rotisserie chicken. Gnocchi that we made through our Amazon experience today. Check out the link in our description. Try one of those experiences. It's so neat. It's one-on-one. -on -one. If you do a really fun one, comment it down below so we can do it. Yeah. We're gonna have our date. Uh, if Abby asks to go to the ambulance, we'll have to make another vlog about that. <laughs> but I think Abby will be okay. If you haven't hit the like button already, do that right now. It helps us out so much. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. But yeah, we're about to watch a movie. Love you guys. Peace, Peace out, out, dudes. dudes.